vector addition and subtraction. There are two methods in doing the vector addition and subtraction. The first one is graphical method. When two vectors to be added are no perpendicular, the tail-to-head arrangement does not lead to a right triangle and the Pythagorean theorem cannot be used. One procedure for adding vectors utilizes a graphical technique in which the vectors to be added are arranged in a tail-to-head fashion. The resultant vector is drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. As we can see in the figure, we have three vector. We have vector A, vector B, and vector C. So in the first figure, figure A, we have C is equal to vector A plus vector B, which means when we added vector A and vector B, the resultant vector is vector C. So again, to, to, to find the value or the magnitude and direction of vector C or the resultant vector, we do the tail-to-head fashion or technique wherein we first draw the first vector, which is vector A, from the starting point. And the next vector, we connect the tail of the second vector to the head of the first vector. Now, connecting the starting point or the tail of vector A to the head or the, pin of, or the end point or the head of vector B, that will give us the resultant vector C. Now, for subtraction, in, let, in figure B, we have vector A is equal to vector C minus vector B. And we can see that the magnitude of vector A, B, and C are the same with the magnitude of the first figure above. Here, our problem is the difference of vector C and vector B. So we must take note that subtraction is the opposite of addition. Also, when we do vector addition or vector addition, vector subtraction that means we're multiplying the vector by negative one which means negative denotes opposite direction. Again, back to the figure, we can see in the first figure, vector B is going upward. And now, in the second figure, we do the subtraction, or we subtract the, the vector B with the same magnitude, but now, this time, we multiply the vector with negative 1, which makes the direction at opposite the is opposite and to and to find the difference again tail to head technique is used so from the starting point we draw the vector c and we connect the tail of vector b to the head of vector c and we connect the starting point to the end point The length of the vector's arrows are drawn to scale, and the angles 
are drawn accurately with a protract with a protractor. Then the length of the arrow representing the resultant vector is measured with a ruler. That is graphical method.